my grandparents and all my family lived in Belmont. And um, when I had my children, they went to school in Belmont. They played sports in Belmont. They used all the facilities or what few they were then. And um, I felt as a parent involved in everything that you could think of, it was important to me to be heard. And I kept thinking, all these learned people on council, why are they not listening to us? So I tried to get someone else onto council and I asked around. And um, one man, a former councillor, said to me, if you feel so strongly about it, why don't you get involved? Because no one knows like you do. So I said, right, I will. So I ended up running for council. And that's how I got involved. Um, I just felt the community wasn't being listened to. There was a lot of learned people who I had my respect, but they weren't listening to us. So I think that's when we all got on council. We all felt it was important to be heard. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, it's a good good answer. And that's, uh, I think a lot of people get elected for council on, on that basis. Yeah. And, uh, in my case, I was the, the typical um, one problem person and not um, not a, a looking over the whole issue at all, but I ha we had a problem. I come from the horsing industry. We had a problem with stabling in the horsing industry, which was going to send them broke. And unfortunately, the health chaps at the time weren't listening to what we had to say. Yep. So the uh, I actually tried someone else to get to do the job to start, the same as what you did, Janet. And yeah. uh, no one wanted to do the job of being on council. It, it was a bit forbidding for them to do. So I ended up holding the chalice and having to do it. And that's how I first got elected. And I, I suppose it would be fair to say that the only reason I got elected was that the horsing people voted me in and there was enough of them to vote me in. Now, since that day, I've, I've sort of seen the bigger picture and I, it took me two years to correct the stabling situation and completely change it around for what everyone knew had to happen, but no one wanted seemed to be able to actually get the powers that be to do it. But they did. I was lucky. I had a, a very, very good man in, in the health department at the time, and uh, he, he helped me. And between the two of us, we were able to change it. And it, it's the way it is today, and that's held it together. For Dave, they're all saying other things now, of course. That was 20 years ago, so things have changed. But uh, at the time, that was what had to happen. From there, um, my story grew into the usual story. You become interested in other things happening in the community and you go from there. And uh, it's, uh, it's, I've been now 24 years. It's been a long, slow hike. I've done six as deputy mayor and 12 as mayor. And uh, in all of that time, you know, the idea has been to try to help the people. And local government gives you a chance to help people, which is one of the big things about local government. Thank you.